So how do we know the technologies of the future? How do we know what to study today so we can be ready for the future? If you want to know that, watch this video to the end. But before the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, I'm recording videos here. I'm traveling around Europe, recording videos with tips for your career, right? So I'm right here in this awesome place, right? It's the Atomian, right? It's the, here in Brussels and it's an awesome, look at this place. Isn't this amazing, right? And you can actually go inside all those balls right there. Isn't this great? Right, so I'm here in Brussels and this structure here was created uh, for the World Fair. Uh, I think it's 1954, I think, or 50, 58, 1958. And uh, it was a structure created for to, to just for six months, right? And they're gonna, they're gonna tear, tear this thing down. But it was so popular that they decided to keep it up. And it's very interesting that, you know, looking back, at what that fair in 1958 considered future, right? And, and what we are right now, it's very, very interesting. There's a, inside here, there's an exposition from a photographer that she went to all the World Fair sites, right? She's actually driving to all, all of them to take pictures, uh, to really, uh, you know, talk about this future, right? And the phrase that she says, she said, I have seen the future. And, you know, and that's a good thing for us to think about when you think about technology, you think about our careers, we want to, you know, we want to, uh, uh, you know, learn technologies, we want to foolproof, uh, you know, or to future proof our careers. Isn't that what we want many times? Right? So we want to, we want to learn the technologies that's going to be the technology of the future. And the reason for that is because we put a lot of effort, a lot of time, and we don't want to do like they, those guys was, were, wanted to do, right? Just, you know, learn a technology use for six months and tear this whole thing down do it again right we want to do like they actually did right this we learn something that we can use for years and years and years to come and so we try to be we try to read the future right we try to see what is the best technology what's the thing that's, that's going to happen what is the thing that we should be looking for and there, there's a reality here like guys guys we have no idea right there's no way for us to predict the future there's no way for us to know what's going to be. There's no way for us to, to choose a technology that's going to be guaranteed, right? You know, because lots of things happen. You know, technologies get old, uh, you know, people stop using them, uh, you know, communities disappear, companies are acquired by other companies and they, they don't continue the products. So there's no way for us to really know exactly what, uh, uh, we're, what, what's going to be the future, right? So we don't want to future-proof our tools. We want to future-proof our skills, right? Because that's the, that's the reality, guys. Your skills will continue to be worth, right? So your problem-solving skills, your people skills, right? You know, understanding what, the, what what people need, um, your 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 ability uh, to to uh, you know to plan, right? And and make the right thing. Your your ability to learn new technologies, right? New things. Uh, your ability to get out of uh, uh, tight situations, right? You know, your communication abilities, all of those things, they are future, they are, they are, they are future proof. You're gonna need them no matter what you do, no matter the technology that you use, no matter uh, the things that you do. And, that, and I find that's interesting because yesterday, I'm here in Belgium right now, and yesterday I had, I, I had a meeting with the, 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 you know, the Belgian Javis group, the BE Jug, and the, the whole discussion there was about, you know, growing beyond senior, right? And for you to grow beyond senior, uh, there's a few things that you, that you need to have, and those are future-proof skills, right? First of all, you will need to, uh, you know, to be able to mentor people. You're going to be able to, to understand what people want. You will need to uh, listen, understand the problems, and try to solve things. You will be able to. You will need to take responsibility. Uh, you will also need to uh, be more autonomous, right? To actually make decisions and do things without anyone telling you to do. So all those things are things that no matter what technology you decide, no matter what happens in the future, even if ChatGPT and, and artificial intelligence take over the future and, they, and, and no one needs developers anymore, those abilities are going to still be valid, right? Those abilities are going to take you to the future. We always going to need people uh, to communicate. We always going to need people uh, to, uh, to, to, to understand what's going on and, and, and create solutions and solve problems, right? So... Um, 
you know, you can future proof your career, even though, you know, the technologies are not future proof, right? So um, think about that. Think about those skills that you can use that are not dependent on tools, they're not dependent on uh, specific technologies because those are gonna be the skills that are actually gonna take you to the future, right? So this is Bruno Souza for Code for Life and I'm here traveling around Europe uh, to help you uh, get your career on the right track, help you move beyond senior. So if you need any help, uh, please leave a comment, uh, ask a question. I'm very happy to, to help you out with that. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.